Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll show you how to on Google Chrome, I'll be using an iOS device which is the iPhone and I'll be showing you to translate a website to English or of course you can translate any website from any language to another language. Alright, so this can come in handy under various circumstances. So for example, if you find an article and um, on that website it's in another language, you can actually transvert um, translate it to your um, common language you better understand or of course translate a website that's in one particular language to another all right um, for this example I will not be using um, English I will just be showing you how cool it is so of course go ahead and find um, Chrome once you launch Chrome as you can see here I'm on my um, home website now, of course there's text and pictures it will only translate the um, text if there's a picture that's in um, that particular um, language, do not change seeing that it's a picture. All right. So, of course, I'm using Chrome. This only works with Chrome. And, of course, guys, this is built into um, Chrome. And, of course, I'm using the Translate app. I have both the app on my phone and it's um, also integrated into Chrome. But I think as far as um, it's related, it should work just with the browser. All right. So once you have the browser Chrome, go ahead and we are on a website. Let's pretend this is not in English. But for this um, tutorial, I'll be translating this to another language. See, that lang um, English is our uh, main language. So go ahead and hit the three lines, lower right. Once you do, guys, uh, you'll see this menu. Um, there's a hidden set of menus. Simply hold and scroll. You'll find out there's a whole set of options down here that you might not have seen. You'll see the option to translate. So go ahead and hit translate. And of course, I've already set this to um, Japanese. And of course, you can see here it says English to Japanese. I had this set by default. So you can see here that it has um, translated the page into um, Japanese. All right, which is pretty cool for those who like Japanese. But of course, you can go ahead and um, you can see here. In case you're not seeing the options, click right here. You should see the translate um, symbol. You see I have English to Japanese. We can try something else. So for example, if I wanted to. Let's say we want to translate from, um, you can auto detect the language. So for example, if you're not sure what the language is um, in here, you can make it auto detect language. And of course, you can select the preferred language to translate the page to. All right. So for example, um, if I wanted to, I could find another language. For example, let's try um, Spanish. All right, so here we have Spanish. So if we hit Spanish and I hit translate, it will translate the page to um, Spanish. So as you can see here, this whole thing is translated now into um, Spanish. And I can always hit show original if I want it. For example, if I want to go back to um, where whatever it is, I can say always translate to English. Um, so for example, if you're on some strange language, you can always hit tran always translate to English and it will convert whatever page you're seeing into English if it's another language or you can say show original and the page will go back to its default all right so it's quite easy so do remember that you can always say um, never translate depending on what's um, on screen it will um, convert for you um, never translate to English always translate to English so using these options you can either detect automatically what the language is and convert to your native language of English or simply um, translate to another language or from another language back to the original all right so the options are quite um, flexible so guys i hope this was helpful this is how to translate any page from english um, from another language to english or back or from another um or from english to another language the options are quite flexible as always guys recorded from blog tech tips see you until next time bye